Take it away. All right, we have Vile Dodoro spawning as our purple purple Protoss in the bottom left-hand corner. The map is Zelnaga Caverns in the top right-hand corner. We have Rain Artist, who is currently 3-0. Some sweet emphasis. Artist! Dude, that's how you got to do it, man. As a caster, you just throw out random emphasis on random words. Like, here at IGN, we would say Team Re-IGN. <laughs> Re-IGN! <laughs> because that just makes more sense, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but big shout out to Zergosaurus, who says, at pain user and cat's pajamas, you guys are my two favorite SC2 casters of all time. Aww. I learned so much just from watching. Keep up the great work. Big thanks, man. That is a very heartfelt, awesome shout out. We really appreciate it. I think we you really just did do. This, but so, I'll do it yeah, again. B- big hearts to you, man. Really appreciate it. When did hearts like become so cool? It's like I remember, anything Day Nine does is just like passed down, and it's it's cool now. I remember a day when like you know nerds like secretly made hearts in the shadows, you know, like dude, <laughs> complete my heart, man. And now it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like now it's like the cool thing to do. I just when did that happen? I love how we're like constantly pushing the bar on on nerd evolution. Yeah, and nerd love, fellow nerd love, and nobody so. knows like what it's like. We're this like alien race that's been transplanted onto planet Earth. <laughs> You know, people honestly think that we are crazy, but we're not. Yeah. We're just so far ahead of just the times. You. We're just so far ahead of the times. I won't even <laughs> dignify myself with a response to that. <laughs> of course you will. You'll just punch me later. But anyway, so we have artists or now. now. <laughs> Ooh, stretch arms. <laughs> My arms aren't pretty long. We'll just we'll just uh, uh, like go ahead and uh, we'll satisfy uh, ourselves by just giving each other high fives above where everyone else can reach <laughs> in the office. So, Dude. Did you see that the other day? Somebody in the office, like, um, I forget who it was. I think it was one of the Code Foo guys, who's got to be, like, 5'4". We were walking down the street, and he just gives me the straight, like, high like, up in the air, high five, like, five feet above his head. And it was too high for me. What? And I'm 6'8". Like, I, I put my hand down here, and I was like, dude, just down low. It's all good, man. But he was literally going for, like, the over the head, like... He thought for some reason that because I'm so tall, like, apparently I like to, like, jump and high-five people. But yeah. Absolutely not true. Not the case. Yeah, don't try to give me a high-five way above my head. I will kill you. That just makes me feel even more tall than I already am. I would much prefer to, like, give it down low or something, but... And, um, so anyway, let's take a look at the game here, and Artis has actually opened up two racks, and he's going Reactor first as his first add-on. He's going to be able to make a pretty strong early game push, try to get in there behind that uh, inevitable expansion that will be coming out here in a bit. Dodoro, on the other hand, as I was mentioning uh, in the break to you, I have a special place in my heart for, of course, he was the first, like, really high-level player that I ever got to cast, so I remember I was just a little nerd sitting in my basement in the very beginning of November of last year, and Dodoro popped into the room, he was with Rude at that point, and I was like, oh, I'm about to cast a high-level player for the first time. It was a big moment for me. It really was. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting him at MLG Anaheim, and a really awesome guy, so much love to you as well, Dodoro. So. That's actually a pretty cool story. Yeah. And I hate this map. I know you do. I hate this map. Any map where you have to open with a particular build so as not to 100% lose the game uh-huh. is Uh-oh. retarded. Uh-oh. And here we have the two racks opening. And you know why you have to open with two racks every time on this map? Because of Proxy this. Stargate. Because of Fourgate. Yeah. I, like, so many Protoss do this build on this map. It's not even funny. And that's just because it is so powerful. Oh, but he scouted he it. He scouted it. Beautiful, beautiful work, artist. Oh, no. And the SCB is not even hiding. It's just sitting there. And the Doros. Hustling. Artist <laughs> is hustling, hustling. on a terror right now. He's Man. just terrorizing. Team Vile. Oh my goodness. Perfect has left the game. That's kind of imbalanced. Yeah, it is. You should a little just bit. just leave the game like that, but I mean, at the wow. end of the day. This is terrible for Dodoro. I actually thought he would have canceled the Stargate. He obviously knew that. Oh, wow. Void Ray, not even going to. Not even a chance of coming up. This probe is hidden behind. There's another one coming to reinforce to go ahead and throw down another pylon. No chance. That Stargate's not going anywhere. Not a shot. And he's probably going to go back and clean that up. Oh, or he no. might just push to the front and try and end the game here. He did supply block him. By killing that pylon for a little while. Right. And uh, we do have a probe sneaking around the bottom right-hand corner of the map, headed over there to build a pylon. It looks like he will be able to get over there, but Artist is going to turn around and kill and this, this is Stargate. Smart. I mean, he absolutely should just finish off the Stargate and then put finish down another the base, Stargate, make a big expand, push. Yeah. Put a base down, get a bunker, just prepare for GTs. 
You remember what you said in the last game? If Artis came back, that you were going to be very impressed. If Dodoro, if comes Dodoro back, comes I'm back be from this, very impressed. I'm not just going to be impressed. I'm going to be flabbergasted. But uh, flabbergasted, flabbergasted, indeed. Maybe. With oh, look, the, look, the cute heavy sentry. Let half the units get up the ramp. Cut them off in the middle. The in-game map editor, as some people like to call it, <laughs> of the sentry. It literally is, though. I yeah. Mean, it's like the, the the battle dictator. Yeah. Your units go here. Your units can't go here. <laughs> my units will go here. And that is the way this will go down unless you want to break the engagement and lose half of your troops. Yeah. You decide. <laughs> that's like what... That's how I feel about like really good Protoss players. Like playing Huck, for instance. Oh, like, my... It's it, Okay, it's, it's frustrating watching Huck. Like, dude. I love watching him as a player. He's so good. But if I, I envision myself, and I'm like, if I'm coming up against that, no. I just, just want to kill myself. I, honestly, there was a point where I felt like he was so good with force fields mm -hmm. that I preferred to play mech against him. Yeah. Against Protoss. Yeah. I honestly think I have a higher win ratio against Huck with mech. Because his force fields are that good. It's retarded. They're so accurate and decisive. and Yeah. He doesn't waste them very and it much. Is, it is. I don't think that there's a feeling. Wor maybe like running over a bunch of Baneling Mines or something like that. Maybe that's a worse feeling. Uh, sometimes, though, there's, you're just like, ah, Marines. Yeah. Like, but there's no worse feeling. You're running up your bio ball, ready to engage, and boom, half your units are gone. And there's, you know as soon as it happens, there's no way of recovering them. Yeah, and it's even worse when it's a situation like where Dodoro's running his units right now. Like, you're running through a canyon, and it's huge, and you think you're okay, and then boom, five force fields cut you in half right there. Right. You're like, there's no way I could possibly get my army cut in half there. I should be totally okay, but that's not the it case. Happens. Artist has actually let Dodoro... Take a considerable. Uh, well, he's not letting him lead, try to get back into the game. Comeback for yeah. certain, and he does have the potential for a contain here. But artist very intelligently is doesn't want to have anything to do with it until he gets those medevacs out. Yeah, it looks like artist was worried about some sort of a all-in follow-up or something like that, and he just wanted to defend it and move on from there. But mm -hmm. I mean. I mean, granted, we have the caster of you, so we can see everything. We could see how far Dodoro was behind, but you would still think that he would have assumed that after killing that Stargate, after killing the one stalker that was coming out at him, that he was at a ridiculous advantage. Oh, absolutely, and he certainly didn't jump all over that by taking his natural. And right. I do and don't like that. I think that he should have done a little bit more scouting, um, uh -huh. but... Once again, guys, we, we are here in our lofty observer chairs. It makes right, things very easy to critique what's going on down on the field. But if he had scouted a little bit more aggressively and gotten wind of whether Dodoro was trying to expand mm -hmm. with sentries or whether he was trying to do some sort of a four-gate all-in or something like that, would have been a much better option for him. Because had he seen that Dodoro was trying to go for this expand, he could have just been like, oh, I can easily, comfortably take my natural. Right. I can just play it from there and... Um, it, it would have been a different game, but as is, he's still considerably ahead on supply, 95 to 82 right now. Yeah, and he's actually down in workers, which means his army is actually quite a bit larger, but of course he wasn't going to overproduce workers just sitting on one base for that long period of time. So, Dodoro, so, 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 so a little bit of work, uh, still cut out for him. He's closing that supply gap. His economy's very good. I mean, he was, he's ahead in workers. He's on two bases quicker than Artis was. Um, but he still has to find a way to defend a very, very large push. We do have Thermal Lance and Colossi coming up at this time. But already, Artis has the infrastructure in place with the uh, Ghost Academy, with double production, that he is going to be A-OK. -okay. If Artis can get in there. Oh, and it looks like Dodoro might actually... Okay, I was going to say he was committing to an attack there, but he's going to wait for these Colossus and Thermal Lances, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Artis uh, obviously killing the rocks over by the third right now, and he does have a command center going up. Is that command center going up behind his back rocks? Yes, it, it is. is. Yes. So he's going to go for the safe third, it looks like here. Interesting. Um, Possibly the gold, but just building it back there. I don't think he believes he's ahead as he, as he is, or it has been during the entire game. So. Well, I don't think he is anymore. Well, it's getting, um, yeah, it's getting to the point where it's a little bit rougher, especially there's going to be a neat timing where Dodoro is going to be able to, if he just sits on two base and then decides not to go to a third but times right before this starts returning a profit, that he'll actually have a little bit of an army lead. Of course, he could try and sit back and just play the huge macro game while this sentry spazzes out in the middle of the map, but um, I don't know. This is, at the very least, Dodoro's making a game of this. Oh, why are you showing your Colossus to that factory? I don't know. 
Um, he's going to be able to get a count of one Colossus there, so he yeah. knows it's nothing ridiculous. He has not, however, seen the second Colossus that just came into play. Thermal Lance is also finishing, so... Artist is going to have to get some Vikings here. Yes, sir. Right. I know he has a couple up in the air right now. How many How many does he have right now? He's uh, got four, let's I take think. A look. Six. Six, actually, yeah. Look, must have just finished two more, and he's about to start two after that. So, um, B, this is going to be kind of interesting. He still does have three medevacs, but uh, if for any reason at all those Viking numbers are neutralized, the lack of medevacs is going to allow these Colossi to do some serious work on those bioforces. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. Is that observer going to fly back into the missile turret? No, it's going to fly off into nowhere, but it no longer has tabs on the army or just for the time being. It looks like somebody was lagging out there for a second. Yep. Artist saying, ah, not sure what that was about, but I think he's gearing up for a push here in a little bit. He did just, he did just finish... Uh, some upgrades, I believe. He just started. Uh, yeah, let's take a look here. Weapons two, and he just started weapons one for his air. So he has one one now for his ground units. And uh, Dodora only has the plus one attack upgrade. He's trying to put up plus one armor now. Mm -hmm. Also has Twilight Council and Forge going down, so we can continue those upgrades as time goes along. Uh, we'll also pretty easily be able to put up charge lots here in a second when he wants to, and I think that's going to be pretty critical for him. But he's going to find himself down in economy here uh, quite a bit. Artist did build that command center behind the rocks, but decided to take the gold, and that is paying off for him quite a bit. I mean, uh, I can understand from Dodoro's perspective why he's playing pretty passively, because there's you just got to feel there's no way you can act against that when you know you took those losses. Oh, for certain. And Artist now pushing into the third here. He's going to get a really good arc. Still hasn't used a stim, actually, to his credit. Now stimming. There are some good force fields in front of his army, though. He's not getting the desirable arc, but wow. all the Colossus going down immediately. Wow. Those Vikings will land as a follow-up here, and really all he needs is the Vikings to finish this off. He doesn't even need the army. GG. 